in there. Well, another question I wanted to ask you is uh, just what was what's the LeBron James uh, inspiration that you had going into this this new tape and everything? What is it about LeBron James that he stands out to you? Yeah, since you know Le- you know uh, LeBron, I folks be going crazy and shit, so might as well I put the Vaughn where LeBron supposed to be at. You know, folks, you know. And it just it was really just a name. It shit mm. just it didn't sound catching me. I just like this shit. So Levon. And my favorite basketball player too, so mm. Vaughn James. Well, what about when Kobe passed? Did that, that affect you emotionally? Yeah, that shit. That whole day was sad, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a sad day. I ain't even get on Instagram or Twitter, none of that shit. Yeah, that was a sad day for I think it got the rain in Atlanta. It did the rain. So that it day? felt yeah, yeah, yeah. So it felt over. You know, yeah. how the fuck Kobe died? Yeah. Yeah, this is so I don't cruel. see like folks supposed to die like people like him. Not so like him. Nah. That shit crazy. Just on some completely random shit. Nothing. Ain't no lesson you can learn from it. That's what I hate. Like, and I, damn, I was just watching. Oh, that's yeah, that shit crazy. And it happened out of nowhere. Like as soon as you wake up in the morning, like, I woke up to it. Mm. Like, I don't know who I woke up to. I think a lot of people woke up to it. But I woke up to it because I was just watching some last night. He was on. Was that the game? What the, was it? What the fuck? Um, I don't know. But the next morning I see that shit. I'm like, nah, hell nah. Yeah, my girl told me Kobe died, and I said, Phew. I'm like, you can't just read everything you've seen on Twitter to me. Right. I'm like, you got to confirm it before you say that. And then she's like, no, for real. Yeah, I think everybody had to see it first. Like, what the fuck? I couldn't yeah. believe it, man. That's crazy. Um, In terms of uh, just sort of like making your block famous, how much of a of a of a important thing is that to you because i feel like nowadays it's like you you've just like emphasized like it must be really cool to be from certain blocks in chicago because you're making them so famous right now it ain't really about being it really ain't about being famous at all like that shit we've been famous for since we are shorties like like not probably the good fame but we've been famous for a minute you see what i'm saying so it ain't i'm really trying to get all my homies some money i need everybody to be comfortable i need everybody to be able to take care of their people i need everybody to be so it ain't about we've been famous that famous shit don't mean nothing to nobody like it probably means something to a lot of people but if it ain't making money like what if you famous and ain't no money coming about it like what you that shit in a way but how much does it matter to you that the kids from your neighborhood are proud of what you're accomplishing and what you're putting out there because i'm sure that there's just like your music is speaks so much about your exact area that it's like they have to probably be proud of where they're from. Right, yeah. The kids love them. Yeah, the kids love me. So yeah. They had time I go out there, go to the block and shit. The kids, they they love they love a nigga and shit. So that that mean a lot though. Mm. Yeah. Like, you know, they do the right thing, man. Grow up. Do the right thing, shit. Don't get in trouble. Don't get caught. Get the fuck on. Do something good. <laughs> Don't get in trouble. Don't get caught. Some. They're both good pieces of advice. Some. A lot of people do all kinds of bad shit their whole life and they just don't get caught. Man, I'm yeah. I'm You're not. trying to be one of them. <laughs> I'm straight. I ain't trying to do nothing. Nothing. Definitely. Um, so I know that you kinda say that like a lot of the stories you tell are hypothetical and stuff, but do you ever get, you know, is there any level of like worry that you might actually be like talking so much shit about 63rd that like one of the kids from that neighborhood is just gonna just go crazy and just decide that like you know King Vaughn's his enemy and he gotta do something about it what are they gonna do I don't know like nah they can't man you know how that shit go man like I'm trying to see where you going like do something like what? Would we'll make a song or go to the authorities or what you talking about? Like okay, what the fuck you gotta do? To put it in perspective, it's like we drop all these bombs on you know Afghanistan and shit, and then eventually they grow up and they're mad as fuck, so they join terrorist organizations and then they come over here and blow our shit up. I, not they they been mad. Everybody like I've been into it with people and people been not liking me, so it's like you know it's the same shit. Mm. I just gotta move how I move and just gotta shit be ready. Don't get ready. Shit, you better. Prayed up, whatever it is, what it is, man. Then they, what's gonna happen, gonna happen. But I ain't going like that for sure. I ain't going like mm. that. So it's just whatever crazy. motherfucker think. It, it's like you've actually turned your ops into a meme because all those comments are like, oh, 63rd, 63rd. And it's like none of them know where the fuck this is at <laughs> or who's there or whatever, but they're, they're like in on the joke. And it's kind of, it's a, that's a different thing. Yeah, they just gotta be cool, sit back. That they ain't, it's about me. And sissy, they're not, you see what I'm saying? Mm, you're not trying to like gather nah, I'm an talking army about together. Yeah. Y'all just sit back and take this shit. <laughs> this, they do this for me. So don't think y'all, yeah, they like just, the fans, they love me shit. They fuck with a the nigga. They gonna rock how a nigga rocking. Mm. And whoever ain't gonna rock how I rock, fuck them. And they gonna sissy third and no shit. So whatever. So 
again, like you say, a lot of the stories are hypothetical, but in this, this one took it to the O, you actually mentioned that a specific rapper from Chicago called the girl six times while you were hanging out with her. Right. It just ran. You see what I'm saying? The shit okay. just be going, man, you know, shit ain't nothing. Shit just ran. It's just that shit sound raw. That shit sound raw, don't it? So I put that shit like how you, you know? I had to like it's check. Like, like it's, it's hypothetical. It's like I just had to be. rewind it like 10 seconds. I'm like, wait, did he just really say that? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just raw, man. That shit just, shit come in my head and in the own second, I just put the shit down. Right. It just came up. Like it ramped and it sounded, what? Well, that shit sound decent. Did you hear his response though? I'm from 63rd. FBG Duck just uh, put that out like a week ago. Uh, I think I, I, I went to it, but I couldn't. You know, you try to listen to something, you're like, I ain't wasting my mouth. I mean, just in case you didn't notice, he does have one line that says, how you tote your gun when your pants tight as hell? Is that a concern? <laughs> we t- <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Huh? I can't tote no girls. I'm, I got house arrest, all mm. type of shit. Gang. I mean, and he, he kind of like does like a parody of your raps in it where he just starts saying i had this bitch from minnesota and he just sort of like Shit, starts making up a spot <laughs> on my mama's don't even do it guys that's a <laughs> stupid week but when but his his accusation there is basically that like anybody can make up any song and rap yeah. that song that, like, that story and it's gonna sound hard right if yeah, you just it's tell just, a crazy it's a, it's story it's a song man. It's, it's it's just music and i'm doing this shit to get money and shit like mm. like in real life people know what real life is and people know what happened in real life and what goes on in real life but in this music shit, it's just really about, you know, progressing and going up and just, you know, this shit music, man. This shit just a means to an end. Mm, definitely. I just need the money. I need that shit to go up. I need that shit to, you know. You focus on that. Nah, that's, that's just what the music is. Like, right. the real life shit, it ain't got nothing to do with the music. Like, I'm not slow. I'm not going to, ain't. Right. You no, know, real life shit, people have that shit. Man. That's, that's shit. But, I mean, that is the interesting thing is that it's like, you know, you're a smart guy. You could think of some crazy shit that maybe didn't really happen or maybe it's a version of something that did happen and you could say it in the song and you kind of know that your fan base at this point is big enough that a lot of them are just random ass white kids in Kansas and they're going to be like, damn, he said he had a bazooka. That shit hard. Yeah. Like, you can just say whatever. It's like there's a little bit of temptation to just make your shit wild as hell because you know that a lot of the fans don't necessarily know how to tell the difference. Yeah, just know that there's no truth to the music, that the music is just... It's, music, it's entertainment, they entertain y'all so a motherfucking get paid and motherfucking doing their job, you see what I'm saying? Mm. Like the real shit, yeah, I know what y'all know, whatever. That shit gonna figure itself out in real life, you see what I'm saying? It's real. The music, y'all just stick to the entertainment, you know? Mm. Is your money getting all fucked up, in your opinion, because you're not able to travel the way that you want to? Do you feel like you would be a lot further along in the game right now? Right, you know, I can't do no overseas, you know how that shit go. Mm. You know, you know, nowhere too, too crazy, you know where you, you know? But it's still, I'm, I'm figuring it out, shit, I'm working, you know, it's working out, I'm figuring it out, and I'm going to do whatever I can do. Definitely. You know, yeah. Have you really done any shows in Chicago, or is it kind of fucked up for a rapper who talks about the kind of shit you talk about? Yeah, Chicago it? ain't really like that. On the, um, the only good thing I saw just was, was the All-Star Weekend. That was the best shit I saw in Chicago for, in a minute. But, like, the shows and shit, like, like clubs starting to end in Chicago, like, at 12 now, some shit, right? Mm. Or they get in cause just because of the violence and so much shit, you see what I'm saying? I did some shows and shit, some little shit in Chicago, but it ain't. Uh, I don't you, fuck with Chicago like that on the music side. Like, it ain't, it's too much going on. Yeah. Like, you got to get a, a friendlier image if you want to be able to write. Really yeah, like we there, just, huh? you know how you just, where you from? I don't know. Like any street nigga know how, where they from. You know, you got history, you done did some shit or some shit or people know you from this and they ain't going to never forgive you for it and shit. So mm. it is what it is. Like you can't make everybody happy, but you will go somewhere else and they'll love you to death and shit. Mm. Like Philly love a motherfucker to death Shit like Philly. that Philly That's interesting what? They do They go crazy I was just talking to somebody too Who was telling me that like All the, the biggest Chicago rappers Like they're like Yo Dirk and Herbo Like in New York Yeah they fuck Gods up, Because there's so New much Jersey, Like yeah. real street rap fans In that area That they just gravitate towards These dudes Facts So tell me a little bit More about the tape Is there any songs in particular You're super excited off of uh, The album I took it to though That's my favorite song I made that when I was in jail. Mm. Off the crazy story beat. Yeah. I ain't tell you that after, because I ain't had no beat. You know right, so you sort of just had an imaginary so, beat in your head. So I'm gonna, I need a raw song. I need to make something raw real quick. I'm in the wrong board. I'm let me think. Um, I need to make something like crazy story. Uh-huh. So, got a drop on this flexing nigga. Got some top from the stripper bit. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so 
stuff. Y'all be just saying, because a lot of people like, man, that sounds just like, it's, it is just like, great. That's, I ain't had no beat. What the fuck y'all want me to do? Right. So I, I wrote it in jail. Nah. It's good you got a girl, because a lot of the stories seem like they sort of start out with you just kicking with some random ass girl. Yeah, that's how, you know how it is. Street <laughs> niggas though, man. Niggas outside, you know. Life ain't shit without females. I was shit without the hoes on the block and shit. So right. there'd be nothing to fight over if it wasn't yeah, for them. Really. You wouldn't even, why you getting fly? I wouldn't even be buying this shit. Mm. All this shit for girls and shit. That's a good point. I'm lacking over here. You see what I'm saying? That's why I had the same girl. You for got so the long. tattoos though. <laughs> I don't think you had tattoos. That's with. white boy jewelry for sure. Yeah, I had to get the throat tattoo when I was like. 19. You gotta think about it. We do everything for females. Mm. I didn't even know about chains when I was 19. I probably would have got a chain instead of a neck tattoo. I hope she think this raw. I hope she think this cute. <laughs> Oh, shit, this make I like him. That's real. That's hey. fucked up, though. That shit ain't cool. Mm. But that's what's going on. Hey, that's how the game goes, man. <laughs> really, there's a lot of dudes. Really, most of the dudes in jail, if you were to really trace back why they did what they did, like, yeah, you trafficked 10 kilos of coke, but you did it so you could get money so you could buy fucking jeans and, and chains and nah, shit. I ain't never went to jail because of no female. <laughs> but if you really <laughs> trace it back. Yeah, you probably chased it all the way back. We probably to it over. No, I just <laughs> Really, almost every single one of those dudes, if they had had their dick chopped off when they were born, they probably wouldn't have had any reason to commit a crime. Yo, appreciate y'all for watching No Jumper. It's your boy King Vaughn from the O. Subscribe, comment, like. What's up?